Hi, my name is Dustin Curry. I'm a web developer at Level 10, and this is a demonstration of the front-end development tool module called CSS Watch. It was a concept uh, by Tom uh, Nelson, a front-end developer here at Level 10, and he did a lot of the JavaScript work for this as well. Uh, this was inspired by Less.js, and in particular the watch feature in Less.js. Uh, this module will has a piece of JavaScript that will ask the server if uh, your CSS files have changed, and if they have changed since it last uh, pulled them down, it will uh, pull them down again. This will happen on an interval. Right now it's at about uh, every 1.5 seconds, and this may be a configuration option in the uh, future. So that will allow you to make edits to your CSS files in your theme and see those uh, the results of those uh, changes in your browser, in your Drupal site, without uh, refreshing the browser and without doing a new page load. So uh, let's see it in action here. Um, now I do want to mention that not all style sheets are pulled. It will only pull style sheets that are declared in your .info file for your theme. So this styles.css is a style sheet that's declared in the .info file for the Jackson theme here. And if you'll notice, we see CSS watching is enabled. This is a Drupal message and it is not styled. So let's uh, edit the style sheet and um, let's give it some styling. Uh, so I'm going to write a selector, div.messages. And the first thing I'll do is give this div a background color. And I want to do something wild like fuchsia. I will save the file and we'll see this uh, change almost immediately. And here we go. Um, fuchsia is not a good color. Let's make it white. It looks a little bit of tight. Let's give it some padding. That's fine. And let's, uh, let's give it a, a border. And that's good. It's, it's a noticeable message. It's uh, far better than it used to be. You can tell that CSS watching is enabled when you uh, visit the site now. So this is an example of um, editing uh, and seeing changes without doing a page refresh. Potentially this can save, uh, save you a lot of time. Hopefully it will. Now there is uh, something else I do want to mention about this. Um, you can have uh, CSS aggregation on and still use this tool. And uh, that has to do with the 31 style sheet limit for IE. IE has a really bad limitation. A lot of people know about this. Um, you can only use 31 style sheets in a page. And a lot of Drupal sites will have more than 131, 31 style sheets in, in a page view. So uh, to do IE development, uh, front end development, you pretty much have to have uh, aggregation turned on. This module will uh, go through and ensure that preprocessing is uh, disabled for all of your themes.info file, uh, CSS style sheets in your themes.info file, so that you can turn on aggregation and uh, still use this tool. So you can uh, do this, this will work with IE. So let's uh, see this in action. Going to site configuration, uh, site performance. And, uh, oh, it looks like uh, CSS files are already optimized, so they are already aggregated. Uh, we were looking at this uh, in action. So uh, this is a tool that you can uh, also use uh, with IE development. Uh, and uh, I hope you like it, and if you have any uh, questions, feel free to hit, up, hit me up on the issue queue. Uh, thank you.